Hi guys, just want to show you how to put on a tow bar on a Nissan ENV200 or an NV200 Nissan van. Just the tow bar there. There's all the good ones with it there as well. So I already pre took off the back bumper. I'll show you how I did it now. Just screw up in there. Then come on to the back. And you'll screw there in the corner. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Send all the way around. And you'll screw in there as well. My fingers is in there. So I'm just two screws, one on the bottom up here, somewhere there. And just get the whole thing. Once that's off, just get it and pull it off. Simple as that. That's the bumper off. This pops off. That's the bumper off. So next step, once you take down the bumper, see this nut here, it's a size 22mm. Knock down your spare wheel. That's right there. Now you want to jack up the van. You see the jacks down there. Obviously the wheels are in the air. So they're held up and have a prop the front wheels as well. So it can't slide forward on me. So there's my piece of my support wheel there we put in. So when you have the bracket on, you see there, and you see those one up there, that one there, I'll show you from underneath, I'll get the font to focus, focus on, and now we'll see underneath here, as you can see up there, you can see it there. And there's the end of it there, and there, and there's a, a bolt to go in there as well. So what I did was, see this longer tube? That goes inside the metal here. That goes in there, it's the collar like. And the smaller one then goes on the inside here. If you look at the van like this, this is the right hand side. And you can see the little collar in there. See the small black thing in there? And the, then it's the, the bigger sleeve goes in here, so it stops it rattling. And then you can put your little small fabric washer there, uh, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that's it. That's the right hand side on. And you can see the left hand side done. Try it over here, here. There's it done, and there's the other one done there. Don't forget your bolt down here. That's the other done. That's the one. I look at the back of the van. That's the two of them hanging down, you can sort of see them there. What you do next is see this little plate here. She joined it. I just put this, this bolt in here to actually hold the whole tow bar up. This is heavy, you can sort of see what I did here. As hard as it was possibly done. So, what you do is you get this bolt and this little plate. This plate goes in this way, the, the fat part fastened out, and it goes up underneath there, like that. See so on the inside, you won't see it beyond up above, and then you put your bolt in and tie it up. You can see the bolt up and done on the far side up here. So what I did is I left these bolts in, just for guides, do you know when you're tightening it up? Make sure everything lines up. Everything's really loose. Not this really look loose. But all these plates here, they're all really loose. I didn't tighten these fully up here. Because everything just, when you're trying to put this on, it's actually very hard to get on unless everything's really loose. So it's literally just hang it on. And then when you're happy, bolt it tight. What I did in my one is I changed these balls. The balls I got are imperial. These are metric. And I used to rip they're not a nylon washers. So they don't should shake loose. The ones I got are imperial and they're just these ones here. See I don't know if you can actually tell the difference. Let's just focus. 
try and wrap it up. There you go. It's the fi it's a finer thread. And uh, they're the same same strength, the ones I got. These are eight point eight. Eight point eight. But see these ones that go up here? So if you look at the van here, say there's these ones that go up here at the top. Let's start there. There should be fifty mil length to these ones. But they will not thread into the van. I crash threaded it and I had to buy new ones. 50 mil longs in metric size. David Imperial will not thread inside the van. Inside there. See it in there? One thread. Next is the easy part. Just put on this little hitch. So I just have the bolts ready there. That just slides in from the back. I already put this on here. Make sure that the bracket goes on first. The hose is in pin here. And then in that, we we'll slide in once the page is finished. What I did next is just cut this plastic, or this foam, sorry. I why did is you line it up. You see the slot there, you just eye it up. That's all I did. I eyed it up into that. Stay on the far side. And then that brings your just needs to have everything kind of looks similar enough. And that's just waste. That piece is over there. And everything should line up fairly okay then. So what I did next now to put on the 12 bar fully with the bumper. I put them nuts back on. Just gent hand tight there and there. And then you can line up here like I did here. So everything should be where it is. I lined up that's our slab saw. That's the market. And then when you take it back off, obviously cut all the way up to there, all the way here, and back down. That should make it nice and square and square and neat. So I'll cut this all out. So I'll try and keep it nice and square. What I did use was a square. So that's how I got mine straight. Each side is used a square. And then we put it onto this and see how it lines up. So you can see it's not fully. I need to take a little bit out here, so I just lined up here and here. I'm going to cut where a jigsaw this up. This is a line here goes across and take it down. I think it should be enough to get that slot in. Just before you finish putting everything on, you just have to do this one more thing. I did it. What I'm going to do here is just gonna line up at the edge of this. Here, yeah. oh, you can see it there. I'm gonna line up at the edge of that, cut it off, and then cut the line this, this line here, all along here to my edge. You're just gonna use a square and then cut it on off. And the other side doesn't have to be touched, this is just a lip, but I'll leave it on in case you ever need it again. It just has to be cut off, because you'll see it from behind. And you still have the fix in here, so it's not too bad. And well, that's what it looks like when it's off. So that's just a plug, so you can take it off when you're not using it. And just pull that out um, and just push this in. So we do this in one go. No, I can't. The star looks like that. I'm trying to get back. Like that. That's what it looks like actually on. I didn't put in them plugs yet because I'm going to wire it now. But that's what it looks like it's on. It's solid. So. As easy as that. It's very neat too. It's not, I don't have to cut too much out of the bumper or anything. 